always start with A because when you get to middle school and high school, if you play in a community group or a college group or a professional group, they always tune to A. So start with A. If you use the online metronome.com, you have to click start tuning. Okay. If it's on the left, you tighten it, go righty tighty on your fine tuner. If it's on the right, um, you gotta go lefty loosey. Um, as you get more advanced, you'll be able to tune your two strings together. But um, for now, you can just tune each string individually. That's D, G. Always make sure it says the name of the note first. If it says, if you're tuning your G string and it says A sharp, then you're probably going to need to change some, make a peg tuning on it, right? If it says uh, G sharp or F sharp, you're probably really close to G. your strings go back and check your A and your D again because when you adjust the tension in one of the strings it adjusts the tension in all your strings so now my A is a little high all right cool so that is tuning um, next I like to play long tones And long tones would be where we do um, four count bows. Four count down, four count up. For this I start on D, just because it's a nice middle string for everybody. Go down to G, go down to C for cellos. And um, you can unmute and do this if you want because it's, uh, it's long tones and so it won't sound exactly together, but we'll at least be playing the right notes together. So. Let's turn on the metronome again. Of course, I snoozed my <laughs> tab that I wanted. Let me go unsnooze that. Oh, you know what, though? Uh, let me come over to this one and see if I can refresh it. OK. Uh, I have to go all the way down to quarter note equals 80. That's what I like to practice at, quarter note equals 80. There we go. So four counts down on D, four counts up, then G, then C for cellos, and then back up to G, D, A, and E. One, two, keep your bow straight, go. Two, three, four, up bow, two, three, G. I'm going for the next part as well, which I like to do the um, up the string. So I go uh, D, E, F sharp, G, and on violin I usually like to go to fourth finger because it's good practice to practice putting all your fingers down in a row. Make sure your second and third fingers are together. I'm going to go show both cameras here. 
Make sure those two fingers are right together. So there's a big space between those two, and then these two are right together, and then there's a big space. Oh my goodness. Did it break or did it fall off? Okay, we'll check that in a minute. So first finger, second finger, third finger, those two fingers touch, and fourth finger. If you just want to go to third finger or if you play cello, you're only going to go up to the G. But I recommend on violin go up to E, F sharp, G, and A. So let's do, let's do that. Um, we'll check that string in a minute. Let's go D, E, F sharp, G, and then back down. Uh, I usually like to do it like this. But that doesn't work so well when you have cellos in your group. So I only like to go up to... And that's just the first three tapes. So uh, let's turn the metronome back on. Da, 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 da. In your own practice, you could go twice that fast if you want to. But uh, we're just going to go one note per beat. One, two, ready, D string. Let's go to, you could do any string. Let's go down to G. One, two, ready, go. Let's go to A. One, two, ready, go. And whatever string you have left, whether it's a C or an E, let's that. One, two, ready, go. Stop my camera over here.